Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise, we're going to talk about the 2019 Honda Core Hybrid. The one I have here is a Lunar Silver Metallic. I'm going to start the vehicle up right here. This is the normal start mode. So you put your feet on the brake and hit the start button. Then everything, all the starts up with the dancing display and it's ready to drive. But to film this video, I want to do it in accessory mode in order to save me some gas. So, same setup, except you don't put your feet on the brake. So let's get started here. I'm showing a picture of the heads up display. So the features that you find on the Touring is basically the heads up display, which I'm showing right now. You got the cool seats here. They call the ventilated seats, but it's really cool seats. So, that. And you also have one on the passenger side right here as well. They're not cool seats in the back, only heated seats. All right. So I have an accessory mode. You can see the heads up display. Somebody wanted me to do a little bit more in depth on the heads up display, so I'm gonna do that. The other thing you're gonna notice is the navigation is included in the touring model. So let's take a look of the heads up display first. So first, if you need to adjust the heads up display, you gotta hit this button and go up and down. Since I have it set correctly, I don't wanna mess around with it. And if you wanted to cycle through the modes on the steering wheel, there's a HUD, heads up display mode, right over here, okay? You just press it, you can cycle through. So let's cycle through. So I have it on the power charge and um, which transmission mode I have it at. Uh, so I have it at park right now and zero miles per hour. There's actually, you could also show the speed limit when you're driving as well. So I'm gonna cycle through since this seems to be a big interest area on the touring. So this one has miles per hour, lane keep assist, ACC, automatic cruise control, miles per hour. This has the compass. It has the speed sign recognition and miles per hour that you're driving at. And back to the regular mode. So that's how it looks with a heads up display. Very simple setup. Very easy to use. I'll show you the navigation that I have. I didn't get to show it last time. So on the navigation, you could do zoom in or zoom out. Currently, I'm zooming out. Let me see if I can get a better picture for you. That's the first you could zoom out. You could go even more actually. We don't go that much out. You know, you see all the different cities. Hit the plus to zoom in. And zoom all the way in. First, you can zoom in. Okay. Usually, I set it for this mode. And how you enter your address, <clears throat> you hit where to. And just type in the address. You know. So, any of those addresses will work. It comes up. Of course, I'm a little bit in a park area. Okay. Please drive to highlighted route. All right. So that's the navigation. Um, it's Garmin based, and it tells you the direction. You probably know how to use it. It tells you how long you're gonna arrive. In 400 feet, what you need to do? Drive straight. For example, right? And it tells you the path. Of course, you can move it around. You know. And you can also have a 2D uh, view as well. So you got a lot of options here. You have 3D. You turn it. You can look at a lot of different features with it. You go to off-road breadcrumbs. Save that as well.
So that's the navigation part. So if you want to save some money, right, and you don't think you need the navigation, which nowadays you could use it with your smartphone, but you do have to pay for the data plan in most cases, right? Then you can actually go for the EXL. You can save you some money. To cancel route, just hit X to cancel. Uh, okay, everybody, for the EXL, you got the leather wrap steering wheel. You got the leather seats, which is really nice, plus the 450 watt audio system with 10 speakers and a sub. So this is how it looks like front and back. And it just looks exactly the same as the Touring. So, but you save some money. Okay. So you also get the, the trailway driver's seat, including four-way lumbar support for the EX. I'll show you that. And also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So let me see if I do the, the plug-in for you. All right? Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So the thing you need is a USB connector to your phone. You can plug it here, for example. Okay, I'm gonna plug in my phone to show you the Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay symbol comes up on your phone. Okay, going back to the screen. All right, so you got the Apple CarPlay on your car. Then you wanna say you wanna look at different things or you wanna go back, you hit the Apple, the Honda one to come back. We hit that one to get there. Then we get, you got the Apple Maps and the Apple applications, phone, music, Apple messages, now playing, Honda, podcasts, audiobooks, CNBC, if you watch CNBC, Google Maps, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Waze, WhatsApp. Okay. So, suppose you hit Google. It will tell you your location. Of course, I'm near a community college around here. So, and also there's another way to go back as well. You hit the back key over here. I hit the home key. You change the brightness and all those other great stuff. Okay, so that EXL provides this feature. Okay, so you're gonna have a lot of different pieces. I want to show you. The last piece that you got for the EXL, I mean for the EX, last piece on the EX that's worth getting. So definitely go for a model that's an EX. It's my uh, recommendation if you're looking for a vehicle. EXL adds you leather and a better radio system. So if you don't care about radio, you know, just get the EX. If you care about the leather tram and the better steering system, get the EXL. You want the heads-up display, you gotta pay a little bit more. You gotta get the touring. You know, you want the wireless charger. Over here, okay, I'll mention it. You need to get the, the touring. Of course, you can add it as an accessory as well. Suppose you got the EXL, you can still add this part as an accessory. So, so it's a, Honda gives you a lot of flexibility. And the navigation is on the touring and the heads-up display. So let me show you the trailway power seats. Okay, because I think it's important to see it. The trailway power seats is this. So you got more lumbar support, four-way lumbar. And you go front and back, up and down, also the front up and down. So anyway, it works out to be a trailways took a while to set up and you actually have memory seats as well it's driver one driver two so you say hit set one set two it's very simple i like to put my seats a little bit lower that's how i like it because other people you know may like want to hire you could do that too so, so after a few weeks of driving 
How do I like the car? So you people like to ask that question quite a bit, I guess, right? So I have about 1177 miles on it and the car drives well. Uh, not a sports car, keep that in mind, but you could get power mode, which is in the sport mode. Right over here. Or you could do econ mode. You know, deals the, you know, slows the car down, I guess, with econ mode. Then you go to EV. Even EV is about maybe, uh, say, about one mile of range. Not a whole lot. So just keep that in mind. A uh, hybrid is not a sports car in most cases. Does that power? Yes, it does. I mean, I could you know, go up on a speedometer too, like any other car. It just takes a little bit longer. So. You can also post other uh, comments and I'll try to answer them as well. So, how is the overall quality? I don't notice anything really major in the car. I do have one speck of paint. I got a paint dust that came with the car. Hardly noticeable. It's on the front hood. So you can't see it right here either. You see that one? I can't. Hey folks, that's my video surprise of the day. Hopefully it helps you out and helps you decide which vehicle you want to buy, which model you want to buy. And uh, we appreciate a thumbs up very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.